I'm Sam. And I'm John. And together we are the Coastal, Coastal Kids. Kids. Today we are back out on the shore and we've caught some really amazing creatures. If you like our videos, please remember to like and subscribe and share it with friends. Let's go coastal! Today's a really negative tide and that's the best tide for catching creatures. And today is no exception. First thing we're going to show you is a crab called the Velvet Swimming Crab. One of the feistiest crabs you can get around these parts. Oh! Ow! You've got to be really careful when lifting these guys. They're very quick and they give a nasty nip. But they do have really nice colored claws. If you look really closely in here, you can see it's red eyes, which is why some people call it the devil crab. If you look here, you can see it's swimmerettes, which is uses to swim. This one is a boy, as you can see by the V right here. It's not as wide as a girl. I've got two types of sea stars here. The bigger common star and the smaller cushion star. I'll turn them over so you can have a look at the chip feet. If you look closely, you can see the little chip feet moving around. This is what they use to move around the bottom of the seafloor. Here's an interesting fact about starfish. They have no blood. We got a big male crab here, but unfortunately he's got a parasite stuck to him underneath his pad. But he is a big, strong crab. Take a look at those claws. You can tell that this guy's old because he's got some barnacles growing on him. Check out the amazing colors on these top shells. Even though they're really bright colors, gives them a really good camouflage amongst the seaweed. Next thing I'm going to show you is a bootly swarm, and these things can be massive. Here's a cool find, the King of the Rock Pool, the Atlantic Lobster. Look at this red antenna and that strong tail. This is an example of a small male lobster. This is his cutting claw and this is his crushing claw. Big lobsters can have massive crushing claws that could probably break a bone. They're huge. These two swimmerettes here are hard, so that's how we know that this one is a meal. If you look here, these are lobsters' mini claws, which it uses to put food in its mouth, and it also is what a lobster tastes through doesn't taste through its mouth. I've got a huge bit of piranha here. If you zoom in, you can see the blue on its legs. This guy's main form of defense is the spike on the top of his head. This guy's got small claws on his feet similar to the lobster. 
Next is the relative of the sea star, the sea urchin. These guys are some really cool colors. Next is a brown edible crab, and he's solid. And he's a lot more heavier than you would think for his size. We've seen loads of these brown edible crabs with the exact same size as this guy, which is very good to see. That shows that there's a lot of these guys around. This is a really cool type of crab because it's called a greater spider crab or a long-legged spider crab. If you look very closely, you can see this guy has his loads of sponges going on. Also, if I turn it over, you can see where it has eggs. I think y'all agree we found some amazing creatures and we didn't even show you half of them. What a way to end the summer. Please remember to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.